video from Fast Tech. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put your Xbox Series X or your Xbox Series S in recovery mode. This mode is very, very helpful. If you want to get your Xbox Series X or Series S out of a boot loop, the first step is going to be turning off the Xbox Series X or Series S completely. And we're going to do that by pressing and holding the power button for a few seconds. I'm going to hold it till the system shuts off completely. And you need to hold the power button to make sure it does that. Then we're going to press and hold the sync button, which on the Series X is this button here. And on the Series S is this button right here. We're going to press and hold the sync button like that. And we're going to press the power button once like that while we're holding the sync button. We're not letting go of the sync button. I'm still holding that down. I have my finger pressed on it firmly. I heard a beep and I should hear another. And now, as you can see on the screen, we're in the troubleshoot menu. And from here, we're gonna connect an Xbox controller. Mine's already paired, but if you don't have it paired, you guys can press the sync button on the controller here and on the console here, or you can also connect it with a USB-C cable. So now we're in the troubleshoot menu. We're gonna explore some of the options that are here. There's a few options here. If you press continue, it will load into the Xbox menu normally. The second option on the right is offline system update. And this option is very, very useful. If you don't have an internet connection, you can download the files from Microsoft's website. I'll include them in the description box below. Copy them onto a USB stick like this one. Plug it into your Xbox's USB port and do an offline system update like that. As you can see, as soon as I plug that USB in, that option came alive, which it wasn't before. That's not what we're doing at the moment. So I'm gonna pull that USB in as soon as you can see, as soon as I pulled it out, that option is gone. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to reset the Xbox Series X and Series S, which is probably the most useful option in this menu. Because if you're stuck in an update loop, which means at a certain percentage level, your Xbox gets stuck in an update. This option is very, very handy because you can go in here and reset everything even if you can't access your Xbox menu and can't reset it from the system settings menu as I showed you guys in a previous video. So there's two options here. There's an option here that lets you keep your games and apps and then there's another option which removes everything. And I recommend the second option if you're having serious system issues or issues with the software. But you can try the first option as well because with the first option, you're gonna be able to keep your saved games and all your offline storage data, which if you use this option is gonna be gone. Your online data, anything that's saved onto your account, for example, your Call of Duty profile, that stays on your Microsoft account. So that's not gonna be affected. But anything that's single player is stored on the SSD. And if you choose this option, it will remove everything. So before you proceed with this option, please be aware of that. I'm going to select remove everything. And what's going to happen now is the console is going to reset. It's going to restart, do its thing. It's going to remove everything off the system. And if you're having any software issues and the issue isn't with the SSD or the hardware itself, this is going to fix that issue. I'm going to skip that. We're going to skip. Now it's asking us for language settings, I'm going to select English and I select United States. Now it's asking us to connect to an internet connection, which I don't believe is optional. It's definitely not optional. Next, it's asking us to sign in with a Microsoft account. The 
definitely do not want them to take my data. Screw that. We share data with publishers. No shit. No barriers. Skip that. Select their time zone, which is Eastern time. This menu is a lot harder to go through than the recovery menu that I showed you guys. And that's saying a lot. Now they're trying to sell me Game Pass. Okay, now finally we're in the Xbox menu and I've signed into my old account. And as you can see, the system's reset. Anything that was on here is gone. And any issues that you were having, as long as they're software related, will be fixed if you do this reset the way I showed you guys. So there you have it. That's another video from Fast Tech. Please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel if our videos helped you out and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you don't want to miss another video from our channel. It helps us out a lot. This video was brought to you by the Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit, which is a toolkit you can use to disassemble not only your Xbox Series X, but Xbox Series S, your PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Apple MacBook, Apple iPhone, and our kit could even disassemble a McDonald's toy in a Happy Meal kit. Also, check out my vlog channel in which I travel the world and I record my adventures. I promise that you won't be disappointed. Link for that is going to be in the description box and the top comment. This is Shiroz from Fast Tech signing out and I'll catch you guys in the next one.